So moving up in our video series, we reach to the bot detection plugin and in this video we'll learn all we need to know about bot detection. So what is bot detection all about? Stick with me and I'll try to explain. What's up guys medium guy here and in this video we'll see what bot detection is and we'll try to use the bot detection plugin of kong api gateway and i expect after watching this video we should know how robots work and how to detect them and also how to allow and deny access to our services also remember to watch my previous videos we have learned many plugins and tried in action like for example ip restrictions course plugin and also rate limiting and also in the next videos we'll try to use the other plugins that kong api gateway provides in its free version so without any delay let's get down to work so as you know we have robots that crawl our websites and grab the data that they need and use them for their own purposes like for example we have google robots that crawl our websites and grab all the data that they need and for example in its search engine if anyone search for a content relevant to whatever we have in our websites google will recommend our websites based on the data that their robots have grabbed from our websites so this is the good part of robots and crawling websites but also we have bad robots that may harm our websites that may try to attack our services and many other attacks that they will be able to make using those robots and for this reason we should be able to allow the robots that we know and we trust and deny access for those we don't. So as it is saying in the Kong documentations, this plugin protects a service or a route from most common bots and has the capability of allowing or denying custom clients. So again, we'll try to use this plugin in our declarative mode in the config file that we pass inside the Kong container and as always i have an echo server that is running in a random port and echoes whatever requests that i make and also i've defined this service as an upstream service in my con configuration so the thing that i need to know i'll try to scroll to where i can enable the plugin globally and here i'll try to copy this simple configuration and the next thing i'll switch to my terminal here i'll hit ls here i have my docker compose file and my config directory which is holding my configuration file and if i nano the docker compose file in here i see that i have the simple deployment of Kong gateway and the database mode is off and I've passed the config file inside the dot slash config directory inside the container as the declarative configuration. The next thing I'll try to edit the configuration file and in here I see that I have the configuration for the previous plugins that we used in this video series so if you haven't watched them i'll recommend you go watch the previous videos so in here i have my echo server defined as a service in my config file and it has the path of slash echo so first of all i'll try to run my container by hitting docker compose up just to test out my con gateway has a successful connection to my upstream server and if i hit refresh in my local host slash echo i'll see that the con gateway has made a successful connection to the echo server and echoed whatever request i made to it so i'll go back to the config file and in the plugins section i'll try to paste the basic configuration that i just copied from the documentation and in here if i go back to the official documentations i'll see all the parameters that is available for me to use in this plugin so the service and the route is the 
ID of the service or a specific route to define if I wanted to enable this plugin for a specific route or a specific service. So I'll ignore them for now and in here I see that the allow and deny for this plugin. So allow and deny is an array of regular expressions that should be allowed. The regular expressions will be checked against the user agent header. So this is a key point to notice and as we get the idea from here the bot detection works with the user agent header that are being sent from the clients to the servers. So if I go to my echo server in here I'll try to search for the user agent and in here I see that the user agent is a value that includes web browsers including Chrome with the version that I have installed. So as we saw in the documentations, the bot detection plugin will try to detect the robots using this header. Pretty fair, I think this is a good way to detect bots because a robot won't be sending the requests from a web browser and maybe for example try to access our APIs or maybe curl our services using a script file or many other ways that might be out of scope of this video. So because I am making the requests from a Chrome web browser and just to test out this plugin is working correctly, I'll go back to the config file and in here as we saw in the documentations, I'll try to add the deny configuration and because it is an array, I'll give my values as a list. So in the first record, I'll say Chrome, but because this is a regular expression, I want to deny access for both lower and upper case. So inside the parentheses, I'll say uppercase C or lowercase C and the rest of the Chrome word. So the bot detection plugin should be denying all the requests that has the Chrome value in their user agent headers. So I'll hit save. Again, I'll say Docker Compose up and I'll go back to the browser and if I hit refresh here, I see that I get the error and my access for this service is forbidden. So using this plugin, we can allow robots that has known user agent headers and deny all other robots from accessing our services. So if I scroll down in the documentations, the plugin already includes a basic list of rules that will be checked on every request. So if we go to the URL, in here we see that by default there are some regular expressions, each one for a known robot, for example, one for the Facebook robots, one for Google+, for Twitter, or any other robots that will be able to crawl our services. Again, also, if you want to deny access for any of these robots, you can just copy and paste in the deny section of the bot detection plugin. And also here I have the top 10 most popular web crawlers and user agents. I'll put the link for this page. And as you see here, we have the user agent header values for the most known robots like for example the Google bot and also the Bing bot and many other robots that are known and trusted by most of the websites. So if you have come this far, I hope you have a basic understanding of what bot detection is and if I switch to the terminal, I'll copy the address and in here, if I say curl and paste the URL, here I'll see that I should get the response from the upstream server and the con gateway will allow access because my user agent is now curl and not chrome. So I'm now trying to show you a trick to bypass this bot detection method by trying to change our user agent headers value. So if I switch back to my configuration file and I'll try to add another record for my 
deny config and if I say curl in here and I'll hit save and again I'll say docker compose up and if I go back and say again curl the URL here again as you see I get the message of forbidden and the plugin is denying my access because my user agent is curl and it is in the blacklist of the bot detection plugin. So a way to bypass this as I said is by changing the user agent header and to test out this I'll say curl dash h to set a header and for the user agent I'll pass a value to change my user agent header and maybe I should be able to get response from the upstream server and bypass the bot detection plugin. So for the value of the user agent header I'll try to set for example postman and next I'll say my URL for the con gateway. So if I hit enter here as you see I get the response from the upstream server and I've successfully bypassed the bot detection plugin. So of course there are more ways to also deny access for these kind of bypassings. This is just a simple way and if you want me to go deeper in this just go ahead and comment in the comment section. So this is a way to change the user agent for the curl in the terminal and what if we needed to change our user agent in a web browser so as you see here my access to the upstream server is being denied using the chrome browser and if i be able to change my user agent header in my requests i'll be able to access the upstream server and bypass the bot detection plugin so if I hit refresh in here and go to the request headers in here I see that the user agent is set to this value by default by the browser and because it includes the chrome in it the bot detection plugin is denying my access to upstream server so for this problem here I have installed an extension by the name of requestly which intercepts our requests in browsers and make the necessary changes that we define to it so by default it has this ui and here by hitting create my first rule in here i have the modify headers section and also the user agent by using both i can change my user agent value and bypass the plugin so for example i'll use the user agent and in here i'll try to give my rule a name so i'll just type name in here for example and here i'll select the browser and for example i'll set it to internet explorer and now i can create my rule so my rule successfully created and I'll switch back and hit refresh and as you see I have now access to the server so if I inspect my request here I see that the user agent has been changed to the Windows Explorer and it doesn't include any Chrome word in it and because of that I now can access the upstream server so that's all for this video and i hope you get the idea of the bot detection plugin also if you have any further questions or if you want me to go deeper in this just go ahead and ask me in the comments section also don't forget to watch the previous videos and i'll put the links for all the urls including my repo which includes all my configuration files so don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next videos.